Here's one that I learned way back. Like I must have been maybe 13 or 14 years old. Uh, there used to be a television program called uh, The Router Workshop, I do believe, and it was Bob Rosendahl. Pretty sure that's his name. And I learned this from him. I didn't have my own router at the time, but I had access to my father's. And he was talking about router bits slipping and how to prevent that. First thing he said was that when you put your router bit in, don't bottom it out. Don't put it all the way down. And the other thing is that if you have one of those routers that has this, I'll take this one off so I can show it. Because this one doesn't have it, you need two wrenches for this. It has this pin that goes in and locks the arbor. He says, don't use that. Use the two wrenches. And I've been doing that ever since. And that is the best way. And the reason why it's the best way is because you get the bit tight enough and it will not slip. So here's how it works. What you do is you take your two wrenches and you don't just put them on there and wrench them apart with both hands. You need to line them up so that you can actually squeeze it with one hand and that'll loosen the collet without busting your knuckles. And this goes for both loosening and tightening. You do it exactly the same way, of course, but you go in the opposite direction. So here I'm putting the bit back in and as you can see, I'm not going all the way to the bottom of the bore. And then I'm gonna line up my wrenches so I can squeeze them with one hand and then I'll reposition the wrenches again and squeeze again until they're absolutely the tightest they can be. So that's my big router. The same thing goes, of course, for the smaller one I have here. Like I say, it has the arbor locking pin on here, but I still, I don't use that at all. I use the wrenches that came with the router. If it didn't come with two uh, wrenches, I suggest you find one. I actually had a router where I took a regular wrench that I bought at the hardware store and I ground down the sides enough so that it would fit in the thing here so that I could use that. So you line up your wrench like this and in this case of course I'm, I'm loosening it again so you want to get that kind of angle right there and you squeeze and that way you don't bust your fingers up and everything works a lot better. Loosen it up, take your bit out, put the new one in, make sure it's not bottomed Lift it up a little bit, tighten the collet with your fingers slightly, and then reverse the action with the wrenches here, this time going the other way. And you squeeze, and then you reposition. You take the wrench and put it the other way. And you squeeze again, and that will get the bit tight enough so that it won't slip. Mm -hmm.